but look at that it doesn't want to drop on its side <laughs> Yo guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to yet another video. So uh, I bought a GoPro 12. So what I ordered is actually pretty simple, the dual enduro charger. Then I also ordered the media mod for my uh, helmet installation. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I actually ordered on the website, it said media mod GoPro 12. And I just got the box and it actually says Hero 9, Hero 10, Hero 11. So the 12 did not change a thing. Behold, the GoPro 12, it's in a... It's not in a plastic box anymore, it's, it's, it's just cardboard. And of course, uh, 256 gigabytes micro SD. Let's check it out. So a lot of you guys have been asking me like, hey Smokey, uh, what setup are you actually using? Because your sound is like good and the quality is good and what are you using? So actually, I've been using a GoPro 9 with a media mod. This is called a media mod, in case you don't really know it. It just slides into that. Close it and in the back you have like this little hole for a 3.5 millimeter lavalier mic. Inside of my helmet over here is actually the lavalier Rode microphone inside of the, the cushioning right here. That is connected with the cable and then the media mod goes on top and this 3.5 millimeter jack goes into the media mod. And that's it. And as for the front cameras on the handlebars, I most of the time just use GoPro Black 8s, eight, 8 Blacks. Satisfying peels. Oh, that, that wasn't that satisfying. So on that camera we have the GoPro 12, looks like this, towards the light, and on that one we have the GoPro 9. Was there a big difference? I don't know. I think we're just gonna have to hop on a motorcycle and uh, take it out for a spin. And just like that, we are back on a motorcycle, listening to Renault Capucon on a violin. Yes. So, what do you guys think? I'm gonna close my fires for a second because the music is kind of loud. What do you guys think? looking at the previous motor vlogs on the GoPro 9 and now I'm on the GoPro 12 you guys know the, notice any changes? I don't know I don't know, I will have to check post production oh! They, those are like uh, the, the cows from Scotland those are Scottish Highland cows look at that got some Scottish Highland cows oh, I love these things I always want to hug them I always want to hug them but I, I, I'm a little bit scared of the, uh, of the horns but anyway um, so yeah, what do you guys think of the uh, of the GoPro 12? Is there is there like something you guys notice and are like, hey, Smokey, yeah, it's a it's like a lot of difference. I don't know. <laughs> that is a uh, that is silky smooth. Oh yeah, and before I forget, yeah, um, yeah, I'm on a BMW R1250 RT. Last week, I uh, brought the CE04 scooter, electrical scooter, back because well I uh, have to ride 90 kilometers away from my house 90 kilometers might be a little bit too far for that scooter to do so uh, yeah <laughs> so I actually took my trailer uh, BMW did not have anything else planned for me so I was standing at the store with an empty trailer so I was like yeah I'm just gonna just gonna ask uh, BMW like hey hey you got something for Uncle Smokey to take home I mean an empty trailer is, is, is kind of lame 
and they were like yeah we have uh, the 900 XR for you but I just had the 1000 XR the only thing that I can say is probably going to be something like yeah it is it is slower as the one I picked up last week well that's a big ass house for sale uh, I re don't really care about big houses I just want a small house with not a lot of neighbors and a very big garage <laughs> the shifting on this thing this is this is like the softest the softest shifting ever now uh, this is of course this is not a this is not a motorcycle review uh, the review with this motorcycle is actually coming because well I was like hey don't you guys have like a big ass cruiser like something to relax cruise around listen to some music and, and have a comfortable ride I I've never been on a bike as comfortable as this I just wanted to try it out now um, I'm taking this bike for a reason and not the other ones because a fun fact this is the police motorcycle wait what the police motorcycle yes but I will tell you guys all about that and a lot of gizmos and a lot of quirks for the police and why the police actually chose this motorcycle and whatnot in the next video because I'm going to be riding this thing across the country now my little country of Belgium isn't of course that big but I'm gonna start at the border with the Netherlands I'm gonna go all the way to the left to the ocean then I'm going to go all the way down into France I wanna I wanna have like a shrimp croquette uh, some shrimps at the ocean then I'm going to go all the way to the south uh, into France yes into France and I'm gonna eat a croissant and then I'm going to go away all the way to the right to uh, the border with Germany and maybe eat some kudewurst or some schnitzel I don't know and then go all the way back up home well, it's probably going to be I don't know like between 700 and a thousand kilometers in a single day gonna start early ride all day and get home I hope by midnight or something like that and gonna do it on this little puppy <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Ah, oh, classic music. I just cruising around. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to come off this thing. This this thing sits better off my couch. <laughs> Here comes the screen again. Look at that. <laughs> we also have like uh, cruise control, adaptive cruise control. The window is hilarious, and the horn. The horn is probably a thing that scared me the most. This is like, I mean, if you compare this with the uh, with the BMW S1000 XR horn, that was like the sound of an old Fiat. <laughs> this is like, <laughs> this is like, I don't know what I'm riding here. Am I lying? I feel like I'm riding like a seven series, but then for motorcycles. Wait, let me let me let me test the. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, it's even doing like uh, the distance. Wait, I want to get a little bit closer. Can I do that? Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, this is neato. This is neato. Yeah, I'm not gonna use the cruise control right here, but and I do believe uh, this is like the 133 horsepower uh, boxer engine, probably from the BMW GS, and they actually solved a big problem for Uncle Smokey. Look at that. They actually made like side parts for that because I kicked my shin against the cylinder from the GS uh, Adventure a couple of times. Ah, ah! I hit my, ah, I hit my shin against these boxer engines. I ah, ah, my shin. Oh, I hit my shin so hard. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I hit my shin so hard. I totally forgot. I can't stick out my leg like a dirt bike because I'm gonna hit, gonna hit the, the cylinder. Oh, that hurt really bad. And now they actually fixed that problem for Uncle Smoker. Look at that. I can't really kick it. I'm just gonna ricochet off it. <laughs> that is nice. That is a good touch, BMW. Let's have some fun and sound. Let's see if uh, people actually notice my uh, carnival car. Uh, I can even put like soundboards on it that make songs and sound funny sounds with my uh, cell phone and that is exactly what I'm going to do in the future as well Everybody's looking at me like what a complete retard <laughs> ah, oh, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. And this thing has like freaking, I don't know what sound system it is, but it is ridiculously loud. Ridiculously loud. The low center of gravity, if this RT also turns as easy and as short as it, yes, if I just put myself to the side. Oh, yeah, this is, this is like just material. Look at that. It doesn't want to drop on its side for some reason. This is like you just go and you just put yourself to the right of the bike to do a little bit of counterbalancing. Look at that. You can just make like little circles. It's probably also the reason why the police actually uh, 
but these and not something else. I still uh, still have to figure out a lot of stuff in this motorcycle. Like I said, uh, the <laughs> the manager from um, from the motorcycle store was like, "Hey, uh, you want to have like the motorcycle that the police is riding uh, in the country?" I was like, "Yes." I was hoping I would get like a white one and then put on like an orange jacket and an orange helmet and have some fun on the highway. <laughs> I also asked for like a genuine police motorcycle, but. Yeah, they, they thought that was the most ridiculous idea I've ever uh, said. It's probably not going to work, but this is as good as it gets. I mean, damn, I, I want to I wanna become a police officer on a motorcycle now. This is going to be a fun job. And just like that, we are back because it is getting dark outside and I'm actually scared of the dark. So I uh, gotta be careful I do not ricochet my side panniers to the trailer or whatnot. Oh, look at that, look at how, look at how close that is. That's ridiculous. God dang it, I can carry a lot of luggage, but that is scary. But I have to show you something really, really funny. Sound buttons. Date. <laughs> Wet fart meme. Now that is going to be a good one. Maximum volume, maximum volume on the phone. Let's do a wet fart. <laughs> John Cena. Can't see me, can't see me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that horn. Okay, the neighbors. I'm really sorry, neighbors. I'm really sorry. But that is it for today's video. Like I said, the next ride is going to be long and is going to be epic. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Drive safe. See ya. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see my latest video, it is right over here. If you want to see my most favorite video, it is right over there. Subscribing is done over here. And if you want to become a full-time YouTuber, as you can see by my play buttons yourself, go to smokytube.com. And over there, I have the perfect all-in-one how-to YouTube course.